Hello and welcome. So today I will do a response video to City Crusher's video where he basically says or where he basically espouses some ideas which uh, I and others in the Pro Mail Collective have um, some problems with and rightfully so. Now, I think that City Crusher in this particular video here, which he released two days ago, roughly speaking, I think in this video he has really abandoned a correct path. I think he has abandoned uh, logic in this video. I think that this is not something we should be promoting uh, in our community as men's rights activists. Uh, I think this is not a good course uh, of action. Um, promoting ideas such as antinatalism or male antinatalism or anything like that. I think this is not something that we should uh, really entertain. Okay? Because Number one, antinatalism is a stupid idea, quite frankly. It is useless. It has nothing to do with man's rights, man's rights activism. Nothing of the sort, actually. Okay. It is also posturing in the extreme. Okay. It is like MGTOW. Uh, it is uh, not even really relevant because most of humanity will reproduce anyway and in particular when we look at men and women it is the woman who chooses the mate okay and it is the woman who ultimately decides whether or not uh, a child will be brought into the world so saying to men that they shouldn't have sons or anything like that is quite useless and even if they ha had any realistic say on that we shouldn't really be commenting on that this is not our business as men's rights activists this is not a political statement we are not here to micromanage uh, the aspects of um, the lives or the decisions of uh, of fathers how fathers uh, behave and whether or not they bring a son or a daughter into the world, this is not our business. This is not our responsibility. Okay? Our job as man's rights activists is to create a world that is better for men and boys, that ensures that they have equal rights to women. Okay? We are a human rights movement for men and boys this is uh, our responsibility it is not our responsibility to tell fathers what to do um, with their decisions even again given that they don't have these decisions about whether or not a son or a daughter will be brought into the world so it's useless anyway right this antinatalist idea is useless okay it will lead to nothing but let's just say that even the antinatalist idea let's just say that this idea had any relevancy relevance and was sort of uh, was sort of uh, potent enough to change the world or anything like that then what the logical extension of antinatalism is extinction and if we just apply it to men, right, if we say that boys shouldn't be brought into this world because this world is so misandric, then the logical extension of this idea in a hypothetical scenario is that there are no men left. And that renders our man's rights activism useless. Because what's the point? What's the point of fighting for man's rights if there are no future men around 
to enjoy these rights, right? I mean, look at this quote from this radical feminist here, Sally miller Gearhart. Quote, the proportion of men must be reduced to and maintained at approximately 10% of the human race, end quote. So this is what antinatalism for men will lead to, okay? Giving into feminist demands. But anyway, let's just watch uh, City Crush's video and um, comment on these things because I think that he has really abandoned uh, reason in this video and I've, I hope that he will um, take this criticism to heart and will um, react to it sensibly and will think about it and will reevaluate re his position. Um, again, others have tried to talk to him and I have tried to talk to him, but um, yeah, so I hope that he will think about these things more clearly. Um, yeah, let's go watch this video. To bring sons into the world when it's so misandric. Yeah, the world is misandric, but that does not imply that uh, that life isn't worth living. Now, I have faced oppression because of my gender and discrimination, okay? But I still think that life is worth living regardless, okay? So, antinatalism is also a very subjective worldview, actually. It's not grounded in objective reasoning or anything like that. It is a line of thought that is built on emotions, quite frankly. Okay? I personally would not want to bring a, a little boy in this world knowing he's going to suffer. Yeah, but this is your subjective decision. This is this is your personal choice. What has this to do with man's rights, though? Right? How men personally uh decide whether or not they will they want to have children or not has no bearing on any of our activism okay the only effect that this kind of rhetoric will have is demotivate men from partaking in men's rights activism okay it will suck out the energy out of the movement it will make them passive Similar like the black pill, basically, or MGTOW posturing. It is, it is the same thing, basically. And this is counterproductive. And it will also attract um, many antinatalists and fatalists and nihilists to our spaces. Okay? We have a certain responsibility as content creators for the Promare Collective. So... Yeah, we, we can have our individual views and opinions on certain things, but this does not mean that we should just um, engage in ideas that run counter to man's rights. And I think antinatalism is one such idea. I think that this idea leads to nowhere. Okay, it is useless and is even harmful for the reasons I just stated. In a way that I never did, right? Now, originally that documentary claimed that the foreign substances that we have, the man-made substances such as plastic, was interfering with the Y chromosome in the womb. You know, we all start off as little girls in the womb, and then the Y chromosome converts us into little boys. And that their claim was that it was stopping that and we were getting healthy little girls, but the boys were disappearing. That was their claim. Now, for the purposes of this video, I asked if I was a father and I knew that was the case, that would I make the choice of saying, 
exposed to the, the womb to these chemicals and the ch my little boy won't be harmed. He'll simply never become a boy. He'll still be alive, but he'll live his life as an uber human, as a, as a girl who will have total acceptance by society and far more rights. But it's not the father's decision to make. Okay, it is the woman who controls the family unit. So this question is just some hypothetical nonsense. And I mean, what what's the point? What's the point in really entertaining this, this idea? Okay. And like I said, the logical extension, even if it was the father's choice to not have sons, and let's say this is on a mass scale, then the logical extension of that is male extinction. And that leads us down the garden path of, of realizing that uh, this man's rights activism uh, was for nothing because there are no males around then that can enjoy equal rights actually okay and again what an individual man does uh, in his decision even if he had full uh, capacity to decide these things uh, what this man does is not our business as man's rights activists okay So I presented this idea in a video several years ago, and I'm, you know, confession time. I'm an MRA, and I belong to a group called the Pro Male Collective, for anyone who's new to this channel. And they made the mistake of bullying me into taking that video down. Now, um, bullying is a term that uh, I probably wouldn't use. Um, from what I've heard, it was basically that they demanded you should, or they sort of told you that this video was un unacceptable and that it was counter to the ideas of man's rights and told you that you should take this video down and they give you criticism, basically. This is different from bullying, actually. That that was a huge mistake on their part and my part for letting them do it to me. Because, well, if you took your video down in response to criticism of your video, um, then it shows that the ideas presented in your or original video um, were not really strong and you had no confidence in them, okay? And, well, if those ideas were similar to these ideas presented in this video, then rightfully so, because these antinatalist ideas are not in line with man's rights activism and they are useless, because it's not the man's uh power to decide these things anyway okay it is posturing plain and simple if you're a parent you should be allowed to consider this for your sons for example when we talk about circumcision if we have a circumcised man tell us I was circumcised and I turned out all right. Uh, I, it's, it, it, I don't care about this. Our response is, this isn't about you. This isn't about you. This is about children. This is about other people and their lives. Well, if a circumcised man says that they turned out all right, then they have been gaslit into thinking that they are all right when they're actually not. Okay, they don't know any better and we have to tell them that. Okay, they have to learn about the injustice that has been uh, committed against them. 
Okay. So just because you accept what was done to you doesn't mean we should accept it. All right. That's that's the point of it. And the pro male collective might, might come up and say, or they did, and said, you know, this is a bad video. We we don't encourage this the idea that you're spreading. And I would have to say, this isn't about me. This is about other, this is about children, right? And they can disagree of taking this route, but I would allow a parent the option. And I'll, I'll show you. Well, regardless of what you allow has no bearing on what actually happens in reality, though. You see, this is, this is the point, right? Antinatalism is useless. It is useless. It is not a practical philosophy. It is just waffling, actually. It is posturing. Men and humanity in general will reproduce in whatever ways, regardless of what antinatalism says. Okay? And again, the dominant factor in that process is the mother. Okay, because the mothers choose the mate and they decide also whether or not a boy or girl is brought into this world if there was such a choice. Okay, it's that simple. Why? And this is why it's important. This is a mixed raced woman who looks totally white and she's going to talk about the racism she has to deal with. This is a non sequitur, basically. This girl had some really, really nice Nikes on in class. And I was like, oh, I love your shoes. They're so, like, they're so cute. Where'd you get them? Whatever, we talked about it. And then she was like, and even a black guy complimented me on them. And like the way that she said, a black guy, I was like, what? <laughs> like, and stuff like that happens all the time, people. All the time or girls would be like I was with a black guy like they'll have like this derogatory like scared to say the word black you know that they were with a black guy they like whisper it to me like that is such a common thing that I'm so used to white girls saying to me not coming at white girls or anything but like that I don't understand the point that City Crush is trying to make you by showing this to be honest that has happened more than I think it should. To be honest, sometimes I don't know how to react because I'm like, what? I'm usually just like, why'd you whisper it? What, what's so wrong with a black guy? But other than like girls talking about guys. You know what I mean? So this young lady, because she passes as white entirely, she, uh, she the, the racism she experiences isn't directed towards her. She can actually sidestep it. She has the option of, of uh, being a chameleon. And just uh, going along with the flow, right? Now, I'm going to tell you something. Would this would racism in general is mainly directed against men, by the way? Okay. This woman be able to give this opinion if she was born 80 years ago, right? The whole point of the pro male collective saying, you know, you should take your video down, which they shouldn't have done. Oh, it, again, if this video, this original video, had the same ideas as this video, such as antinatalism and stuff like that, then yes, the Promare Collective was absolutely justified in saying that you should take this video down. Now, again, this has nothing to do with authoritarianism or dictating uh, individual members of the Promare Collective or stuff like that. This has something to do with uh, being a cohesive unit, okay? Because we're not just individual content creators, but we are also a collective, right? And as a collective, we have to have certain principles and certain lines should not be crossed. And if someone espouses ideas that run counter to man's rights uh, and that are harmful or counterproductive, then this should be called out. It's that simple.
was that they were saying, no, you you should be uh, encouraging guys to stand up for themselves. But if this woman, let's say, was born 80 years earlier, right? Before, let's say if she was a young woman in the 1940s, before the civil rights movement, there's no civil rights movement for her to join. So I've heard uh, cases where black people that, you know, or I should say mixed race people that look entirely white have actually denied being mixed race in those days. And the parents encouraged it because the parents wanted something better for their child. So they would say, don't admit that we're your parents, not because they were ashamed of themselves, but because they recognized that their son or daughter, by passing as white, would have a better life. Do you understand that? And, and so what has this to do with with anything, really? I mean, the black people that were uh, discriminated against in those days, did they say, oh, we're oppressed, so let's not have children? No, they didn't say that, right? So your point is exactly what? That's what I have, like, empathy for my subs that come in and, and voice concerns. Because there's no proper MRM from them to join. Yet. Because the proper MRM, uh, it will not uh, be created like in one day. Okay. We are in the building up phase. We are in the cultivation of potential and ideas phase. We need to build up our numbers. We need more pro male collective content creators. We need more people joining our community. And not just people, but competent people. Okay, high quality, intelligent, reasonable people. Okay, and this is the phase we are in right now. So let's not just be impatient, okay? And comparing or implicitly comparing the civil rights movement and Malcolm X to the Promac Collective is not really warranted because this was a different context. This was a different situation. We have a, another situation now for men and the resources and communities that are available to men right now who seek guidance and who seek refuge and who seek assistance with their problems on a man's rights basis, those things are different, okay? We have a different, um, we have a different situation at at our hand right now and by the way the civil rights movement it also didn't just came out of nowhere right it had probably a slow building up phase as well so this does not mean that we should just throw in the towel and say okay because there's no proper mrm right now this does mean that uh no male children should be born because the world is so misandric. Like, this doesn't follow from that, okay? Malcolm X, when he was in his early revolutionary phase, he probably didn't preach that to to black people who were oppressed. Oh, there is no proper black rights movement right now. So in the meantime, let's not have children or anything like that. This wasn't probably what he was saying, right? He was um, building up his movement, okay? The pro male collective is the closest thing we have. But we're, we're not a physical group like this.
that can get together and actually make demands. Yeah, this, again, this will take time. We are in a building up phase, building up our numbers, cultivating ideas, spreading memes that will eventually break through the ether, okay? If they're compelling to people and if they carry ideas that will resonate with people. We are sowing the seeds for um, for a promer culture to be created in the future, okay? So if you're a common guy and there's no group for you to join or speak for you, what are you going to do? You're going to keep your head down. Well, even if someone in reality keeps their head down, this is not just something we should be encouraging, right? We shouldn't encourage that. We should um, say, look, common guy, here are the things that you can actually do. So if there, if there are some things that you can do, in terms of activism or in terms of standing up for your own rights, then you should probably do that, okay? Again, we are not expecting the common man to do some some crazy uh, activism that is outside of their means, right? But um, we are at least expecting from the common man or we are telling the common man to not be delusional and passive. And this anti-natalist idea is leading to passivity. It, it's lead, it leads to passive behavior. Okay, it leads to men keeping their head down and are basically, it's, it's basically like the MGTOW nonsense, right? Right. So this is why I talk about this being an option for men. Well, it's not an option because it's not really feasible. You know, you, you can't do it, but it's a thought experiment. Yeah, well, if it's not feasible, then why are you talking about it? Again, the only effect this will have is people will see this video and they will say, oh, so the pro mac Collective now supports antinatalism? What? This is what some people might think. And I've seen these comments under this video, okay? And this is not a good representation of our message, right? They will falsely associate this with the pro mer Collective, these antinatalist ideas. And this is not something we should um, encourage, right? This is why I'm making this video, because I cannot let this uh, stand unchallenged and other people in the Promare Collective think the same and have voiced similar concerns. You know, this is, it will just attract many of these anti-natalist black pill type people uh, to your channel, City Crusher, and then, you know, derailing uh, actual activism and that, that's just the effect of this, basically. You see? Now. Confession time, guys. Uh, not only was I a victim of having guys in the ProMail Collective demand that I take my video down, I... This is not victimhood. Okay? We need to... Uh, encourage people in our spaces to promote ideas that are pro-male. And if someone does something counter to that, then we are in our... then we have a responsibility to call them out on that and to put a little pressure on them. Because, again, we are a collective. We are not some random people um, who just make content whatever uh, 
is on our minds, but we have a certain responsibility, right? So th again, this is ab about political man's rights, human rights activism, okay? This is, I mean, we, we don't have to march in lockstep on every single detail, right? On every single issue and have to, uh, and have a similar perspective on every single thing. However, if someone promotes ideas that are objectively anti-male or that are sort of harmful to this whole project, then then we can demand from individual members that they should um, reevaluate their position and should, if not take down a video, at the very least do a follow-up video where they correct their position. Okay? I think this is very reasonable. I think there needs to be some level of quality control on individual members of the ProMac Collective. If I did a video that was promoting something, let's say, libertarianism, okay? Because I used to be a libertarian, by the way. I'm not anymore, okay? But let's say I did a video promoting this, then the ProMac Collective would be in their right to demand that I take this video down or that I um, do a follow-up video where I sort of reject libertarianism, okay? Because this libertarian idea is anti-male and it is bad for our activism. It leads to derailing man's rights, okay? It's not useful. It's useless and counterproductive. I was guilty of doing the same thing to another member. This is pro-male, revolutionary. We had a falling out. He isn't part of the group. But I remember the boy saying, we disagree with the video he put up. And we got together and demanded that he took it down. And I positively regret doing that. We were wrong. We crossed the line. Who are we to tell another content creator what they can do with their channel? Well, again, if it was just some minor aesthetic difference or anything like that, then sure. But the thing is, is that if someone promotes an idea that is counter to man's rights then yeah the group can actually demand that this this video should be taken down right or should be revised in some way because again we are not just some individual content creators but we are a group okay we are a unit we have to be a cohesive unit and we have to keep our members in line to some extent Again, this has nothing to do with being a dictatorship or anything like that. This is this is nonsense. The, there needs to be some level of discipline. There needs to be some level of um, of principles that we adhere to, right? Let's say we have a pro male collective content creator that promotes feminist ideas, that promotes ideas that are Let's say so, let's say some promo collective member puts out puts out a video where they promote um, some feminist myth about women being oppressed in the past or some bullshit like that. Then we would be in our right to demand that this member takes their video down. I mean, isn't isn't that logical? Isn't that indicated, right? It, it's it's that simple right this is not just some about this is not something about individual minor differences and aesthetics or something this is about really um uh really important stuff right that affect our whole uh, our whole ideology right our pro male ideology and our whole approach 
our sensible approach to man's rights. Because our message is important. Okay, our ideas are important and they shouldn't be diluted with nonsense. It's that simple. I was wrong. I thought I was showing solidarity by supporting the guys in this, but if I really was showing solidarity. Well, it has not really something to do with solidarity, right? It's not about groupthink or anything like that. If a video should be taken down, right? And the group comes together and says, this video is bad, or what this individual member of the pro Mac collective does is bad, right? Then the veracity of their actions is not determined by whether or not they have solidarity with, with each other, but it is determined by whether or not the ideas that this individual member promotes are actually in fact bad okay so you shouldn't have supported the pmc in the decision of taking or of of demanding that the pro mail revolutionary direct action channel takes one of their videos down uh, for solidarity reasons but you should have supported them because in fact this content creators channels video was in fact bad okay it's that simple right so we are not just some mindless npc drones so this has nothing to do with that right this is about keeping our activism focused okay we need to have focus on our pro-male activism. This is very important. I should have backed up pro-male revolutionary, not because this video was good, because it was really bad, but it's his business. It, again, if his video was really bad, and bad in a sense that was harmful to man's rights, then the pro-male collective was justified in demanding that this video should be taken down. And again, if then pro male revolutionary caves into that demand, then that's on him, right? Because if someone, let's say pro male revolutionary says, you know what, this group demands that I should take my, my video down, but I'm in the right, and I think that I'm in the right, then you have to stand your ground, right? It shows you that if he took his video down then that he had no actual confidence in his own ideas and then this is an implication that these ideas probably were indeed bad it's that simple and again bad in a sense that they were harmful to man's rights okay it's what he puts on his channel i think that's where we cross the line into authoritarianism nonsense right and also i was being hypocritical because i didn't treat everyone the same way mr pink and yellow who i really respect i remember him and i having a conversation he was complaining that his comments on youtube weren't going through youtube was blocking his comments the algorithm and i said to him just misspell the words, right? Just misspell them and the algorithm won't recognize it and you'll get your opinion out. And he said, no, I'm not going to do that. You know, uh, I have this principle. Uh, I'm not going to dance and prance around and change my words for YouTube. And my response to that was the conversation ended because I respect him. So if I'm going to respect his opinion like this, why would I dare go to another uh, member of the PMC and demand they take their videos down. This is not a real good comparison. This is a false equivalence fallacy. The, th these two things have nothing to do with each other. This, it's, it's, I'm sorry, but these two things are not related to each other at all. 
you respecting the opinion on some way uh, an individual PMC member uh, posts comments under YouTube videos has nothing to do with whether or not some individual PMC member does content, let's say YouTube video, that is harmful to men's rights activism. And I mean, you see these two things have nothing to do with each other. So this is a false equivalence fallacy. This is, this is, this is a non sequitur. This, I'm sorry, but this is nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Right? Because I could have turned around and said, Mr. Pick and Yellow, your opinion is needs to be seen by the average guy. We're trying to accomplish something there. I, I could have got together with the guys and said, Mr. Pink and Yellow, we demand that you start misspelling your words and get your opinion out here. You know, Commenting on the YouTube videos uh, is really a small thing compared to putting out videos where someone espouses an ideology that derails man's rights. These two things are not the same. Again, Oh, because this goes beyond you, uh, bury your pride. But I didn't do that. So since I didn't do that to him, why would I do it to another member, right? Like in, in this case, what I'm talking about, this is a legit, uh, legitimate uh, opinion. You know, it's a legitimate option. No, it's, it's posturing. It's nonsense. Uh, I'm sorry, but again... And again, this, what you said about authoritarianism, we don't demand that we all move in lockstep on every single issue, on every single detail, uh, you know, but there is, there is a line, okay, there is a, there, there is a certain threshold, okay, if you are promoting an ideology a, especially a coping ideology because antinatalism is a coping ideology uh, you know libertarianism again it's the same thing these red pill black pill ideas all coping ideologies platonic ideas that are impractic impractical and cannot be realized in real life and are just nonsense it, it has nothing to do with man's rights. It is counterproductive. It will only distract from man's rights activism. It's that simple. We shouldn't be pushing these ideas in our spaces. Okay? It's that simple. Whether or not a father has a, a son or a daughter is none of our business. Okay? And again, it is posturing because it's ultimately the woman who has more power in this relationship. Again, so what's the point in bringing these things up? What's the point of saying that this is an option? This is not an option, actually. And this is, uh, regardless of what we say about that, uh, the reproductive uh, habits of people is something we cannot and should not regulate. It's that simple. So the only effect this will have is that it will bring in antinatalist people in our spaces and this will deflect from man's rights activism. Okay? It's that simple. It, 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 it's not helpful. It's not helpful at all. You know, and and for, for them to come and, and demand that I take my video down was just wrong. I remember, I remember. No, it's not. Because, again, as ProMed Collective members, we have a responsibility to put out content that will further our goals to... Um, to strengthen the man's rights 
movement, okay, and to strengthen man's rights to the point where in one day in the future we will have equal rights to women, okay? That's our goal, right? And if someone uh, in the Prome Collective uh, community uh, promotes ideas that are harmful to that to that goal or that are hindering to that goal then the Prome Collective community is in their right to call this out and to demand that this person changes their behavior okay because and I mean we have done this before with all kinds of people we are constantly saying that we shouldn't allow for example people who promote child support uh, let, let's say a pro collective member promote child support we wouldn't tolerate that and rightfully so right rightfully so because this idea is harmful to men so this whole what, what he said about authoritarianism is, is a bunch of nonsense i'm sorry or the guy saying you know, is, are we all wrong and, you, and you're and you right? And I should have said yes. Uh, you know, a hundred people looting doesn't make looting good or just. Yeah, again, this is uh, comparing that some people say you should take your video down is not the same as looting. Oh, my goodness. Or the thing we should be doing, right? We should never have demanded, where is he? Oh yeah, I took him down there. Um, Pro-male revolutionary. We should never have demanded that he take his video down. I should, I should. Again, I don't know the video that he's talking about, but if the video was indeed bad for man's rights, then yes, he should have demanded that. Again, if it's, if it's harmful, if it's anti-male, then the group has the right to say, look, this video is not your best video either revise it or do a follow-up video or take it down because this is unacceptable and this is harmful and this is counterproductive the group is in their right to say that if then the individual content creator uh, caves into that and just takes the video down out of peer pressure right this is on them if they're then still not realizing that they actually should take their video down because the video was objectively bad and the group was objectively in their right and the criticism were on point, then that's on that individual content creator, right? So we are not just doing uh, what we do out of peer pressure, but we should think about whether or not someone's criticism is actually correct or not, right? We should think, okay, has this idea that I'm promoting right now in my video, has this a positive effect for man's rights or not? And if it doesn't, um, is the community in their right to criticize that? It's that simple never have let someone demand that I take one of my videos down, right? Is the idea is that we encourage men to stand up for themselves. We encourage men to act collectively, but we can't demand that they be brave. You know, you know, this, this is also a, this is sort of a, a, straw man and this is also very vague like what what does it mean to be brave what we sort of tell men is look uh, you have to understand that you're oppressed right that you're at a disadvantage that your human rights are being taken from you in this misandrous system okay and that you should do whatever is in your means to fight against this and that's it right we sh we we are telling men that they shouldn't be delusional and that they shouldn't be passive about these things 
right? And that they shouldn't keep their head down, right? We are not demanding something crazy or unreasonable, okay? It's that simple. So this vague language of, oh, we cannot demand from men that they are brave or something, like what does this mean exactly? Every man has to make his own choice. There are very good reasons why a lot of men just want to keep their heads down. Yeah, even so, but this does not mean that this is what we should be promoting as the pro male Collective. We should promote the opposite. Because <laughs> again, as I said, there's no effective MRM to join. Well, they again, if they stumble upon our videos, they can join the Promare Collective, right? And again, the effective MRM will eventually be created. It is a slow process. You just have to be patient, okay? We are in the process of building that up. We are in the process of creating that. We are building up our numbers. We are cultivating our ideas. We are theory crafting. We are um, getting new members every day, new content creators. We are spreading the memes. We are spreading the word, right? We are engaging in information warfare against feminism, against tradcons, against anti-male ideas, right? And eventually we will succeed because of that. We just need to have perseverance and we need to not lose our fighting spirit. And ideas such as antinatalism and things like that, these posturing and these delusional ideas, they are dwarfing our fighting spirit. Okay? And that's why this is bad. And a man who speaks up for himself is going to be by himself, you know? So that's what I have to say about this video, okay? Or in this video. Oh, yes, one other thing. I explained why this documentary is false because, again, they, they changed their ideas. They went from saying that the chemicals were interfering with the Y chromosome to saying that the chemicals were damaging uh, the male uh, body, like uh, it was lowering testosterone and sperm count and making penises small. See, so they, they, they revised it. And all I have to say is, so it's doing all this damage to the male animal, but it's not harming the female animal at all. See, that that is highly suspect. So this is a fear-mongering piece of propaganda. And so I'm, I'm not putting it in the description box, right? So I'm going to end off saying, you know, we got to think beyond ourselves. You know, yes, I want men to have, you know, rights, equal rights to women in society. And we've, we've got to do what we can within the boundaries of what we can actually accomplish. And I wouldn't berate a father for considering this option. Again, it's not the father's... It's not, it's not uh, our business to really uh, comment on that, right? It's, it's not our business and it's not uh, really the father's choice at the end of the day. So what's the point? What's the point? This is just nonsense. <laughs> because what was that, uh, what was that biblical uh, story there? Moses, right? What was the whole point of that story? His mother was a slave. She shipped her child off. He was picked up by the gentry, you know, the Egyptians, and he lived a better life. 
in this story because of it, by denying that he was Hebrew. And why'd she do this on a desperation? It was it was simple, it was simply a fact of reality that when you're a slave, you don't have a lot of options. And so I have empathy for my fellow man and I understand them. So if the subs come in, I've had subs come to the comment section and voice their worries and say, I don't think we should do this because blah, blah, blah. Basically, I'm afraid. And I understand that 100% because they have good reason to be afraid. There are real consequences when men speak up for themselves. Yes, but the the thing is, is that as the pro male co collective, we are not saying that men should do something outside of their boundaries. I mean, we are not, we are not saying that they should go overboard so, or, or something like that, right? But um, they shouldn't live in delusion, right? And they should do what they can. And this is this is it, right? And all this, these delusional ideas, um, keeping our heads down, is not helpful. Again. Yeah, we, we've, we've got to... Uh... The pro male collective can't be ironclad about this. We have to understand our limitations. We're not in the position of power, and that's just the way it is. Yeah, sure, but again, uh, saying to to men that they shouldn't have boys because this world is so misandric is not helpful in that endeavor to eventually get into a position of relative power. Again, it's, it's counterproductive. It's counterproductive. Okay, so that's how I'm ending this video. Yeah, so again, it's, um, it, it's not a good video. I'm sorry, City Crusher, it's not. And many in the Prome Collective uh, see it similar and yeah, I hope you watch my response video in full and think about that. Um, again, you can have these sort of philosophical thoughts uh, privately, but if you voice them publicly on your channel in the context of a political man's rights movement, then this is where it becomes problematic. And um, yeah, I. I think this will attract people to our space that are not really interested in activism, but that are just interested in coping and posturing and not being active at all. And that's the problem. And yeah, I really didn't want to make this video, to be honest, uh, because I respect you. Okay, City Crusher, I respect you. I think overall your channel is very valuable to the pro male collective community but this video is uh it's it's all over the place and it is not helpful it is um, counterproductive it will not lead uh anywhere to be honest it will just uh, bring people into the space that have that 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 only have the intention of being passive and whining to be honest and that is not uh something we should encourage right we we are not a we are not a um we're not a bar right we like like we said in in some previous videos we are not a bar where men go to and complain about their problems but we are a human rights movement for men okay and we have the potential to grow bigger and stronger okay we have the potential to really put out ideas that will resonate with people that will eventually attract people 
and that will eventually um, even go mainstream. I mean, look at the the insult community and the black pill community. They have bad ideas, right? They have awful ideas, um, and we reject those ideas. But they were fringe sometime, and yet they broke into the mainstream very heavily. Everyone uses their language now for some reason. And this shows me that our time will come eventually where we will broke into where we will break into the mainstream eventually. Okay? So instead of being passive and telling uh, some antinatalist fairy tales that will never really be practiced on a large scale anyway, we should encourage men to join us in our male human rights fight. Okay? We should encourage men to join us uh, and to join the pro-male collective and do the work. Okay? Whether it's offline, online, uh, you know, that is the correct path. And engaging in these in these weird ideas is not helpful. Okay? So again, I hope that City Crusher watches my video and rethinks his position um, and, you know, thinks logically about this because this is not something, this is not a correct path that he p pursues in this video and it will be badly reflected on the w wider ProMail Collective community um, because he has the biggest channel, right? He has the biggest YouTube, ProMail Collective YouTube channel. So this will be associated with us, this antinatalist ideas, which the ProMail Collective actually rejects. So this, um, this is why I'm making this video, because this could potentially be harmful for us, especially if City Crusher continues in this thought process and continues to spread these these antinatalist, MGTOW-like ideas, okay? Because antinatalism is just like MGTOW. It is a sort of posture. It is not really a... It, it doesn't come from a position of power, really. It, it's not empowering. It is demotivating and keeping man passive. Thank you for watching.